Hello, in this screencast I'm going to show a little bit of how we can use Google Street View to see a couple different things. Now Google Street View is something that was created by the Google Street Cars. So they're those cars that drive around and they have a camera on top and they take images of the street so you can actually get a sense of what the actual street looks like. If you're ever trying to navigate or see things, um, it's one really cool way that you can go and try to do that. Now Google is constantly adding new technologies. Um, I've heard that they do have some where they're trying to get people to walk around basically with like Google Pro cameras on their heads um, to take um, images inside of um, famous locations including some museums um, so that a person can actually go on a tour and see that. But anyway, um, for us, so how does this work? So I've typed in Madison, Wisconsin in the search window. Um, that put me here and I've just sort of zoomed in on the Capitol um, building because I wanted to try to show some differences of what happens. Now if we come down and we're going to zoom in towards the Capitol building, okay, we're going to come down in to this inner loop right here. Okay, now what I want to show you some differences. If I click and try to get the street view at this location, okay, what we end up seeing is it looks very flat. Okay, so this is the satellite imagery. We can see the cars, and if I turn around, I can see where the Capitol building is, but it looks flat. So the question is, what's going on? Well, if we exit the ground view again, and to enter that street view, I just actually um, click to zoom in, but you can just drag the slider as well. And we can see we actually have a slight oblique view at this point. We'll have to zoom a little farther out to get that to go away. But we're actually looking at this inner circle right here, and the Google Street Cars don't go to that location. If instead I come out here to the street where a Google Street Car would be driving and zoom to click in, we can see that when I enter that street view, I can now see all the imagery. We can turn around, we can see the Capitol building. We can take a guess well, for the time of year. We've got some fall action going on with the leaves changing colors. So we can get a sense of when that came along. Now this yellow line tells us the path that the Google Streetcar went. It did look like it went in a little bit. So we could see a better view if we went closer, but it didn't go around that inner circle. And again, that's where people would be walking. So if you click, you can actually follow the direction that the Google Streetcar went if you want to go and see that imagery advancing and see different things. Um, so again, uh, it'll occasionally show you where people are. They usually blur out people's faces um, to maintain people's kind of anonymous identities. But that's how we can get in and out of the Google Street View to see what's going on.